previously on D-Cycle Motovlogs. Today I'm going to replace the stock fairing on my 2018 Sport Glide with a brand new one from Memphis Shade. So very easy install there. I love the way the bullet fairing looks on the on the Sport Glide. It looks awesome. I love it. What's up guys? Welcome back to another D-Cycle Motovlog. It feels definitely amazing to get out on the bike again. It's near 50 degrees right now on what's been a very cold February. And I really wanted to do this video because you guys had a lot of requests for A. How does the Memphis Shades bullet fairing do since I've put it on and this is actually the first time I've been able to ride it since I've actually installed it so this probably looks a little bit different to you and we'll get to test it out as soon as I can get through this traffic so that's one of the things that today's video is going to be about how the Memphis Shades bullet fairing does also some of you were asking about how the exhaust of my tab slip-on muffler sounds from the helmet view well, we're going to do a little highway riding, and we're going to do a little in-city riding, as you can see right here. I mean, I can notice a difference, but I don't know how well it's going to do in this microphone since it's in my helmet and kind of get rid of a lot of the sound. But the pipe, it is loud. It is a lot louder. And what I've noticed, too, is I've had people riding with me telling me how, how much louder it is, and, and it is. But when you, when you start getting up to those highway speeds, you, you don't notice it as much. I think it's because it's such a long pipe. And, and it's back a considerable distance compared to the exhaust I had on my Sportster, which I had the Vance and Hydes, and they were pretty loud. But, I mean, this, this tab is really loud. And I know you're just going to hear it better when you're back behind me. But still love it, man. Very happy with going with tab. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that caddy. <laughs> That's awesome. I want to test my fairing. But I can't because this traffic sucks. So I'm on my way to get my sticker renewed for my bike as well as my wife's car. What is this guy doing? That's not safe, but whatever. Somebody's in a hurry, I guess. Town of 8,000 people, and it's like downtown St. Louis. I hope you guys can hear that. I think it sounds really good even from the helmet, but like I said, I got a couple of windscreens on this microphone that I'm motovlogging with, and it's probably going to drown out a lot of that sound, so you're not going to hear it as well as I am. But it sounds great. And this is also kind of a test too because I repositioned my mic a little bit and I know installing this fairing may help this out too because as you can see there's like a little lift at the top here that's going to help bring some of that wind up over my head. But we're getting ready to hit some highway here. We'll be going about 60 miles an hour. I'll kind of fill you in on where the wind's hitting me if it hits me at all. Alright so we'll start here. We're doing about 40 miles an hour. It's not very windy out. And keep it in mind that I'm about 5'8", five, 5'9", five, so this is going to vary depending on your height. But I'm going to use my hand for wind reference, and of course I'm not feeling anything right here. And I'll bring my hand up. I'm starting to feel it about right here, about even with my eye line. And I'm really, I'm really curious to see how this does with the motovlogging mic, because I'm hoping it kind of gets rid of some of that wind buffering noise that I've been hearing on previous motovlogs. Hopefully some of that gets cut out. But we'll just see. We'll just have to see while I'm editing this video. And we'll be getting to go a little bit quicker here in just a spell. So before we start hitting the highway speeds, there's a couple things I want to talk about. And that's my first impressions of this. Not just riding with it, but I guess just overall the Memphis Shades bullet fairing on, on how, how I've been pleased with it so far. Now I talked on the install video, if you haven't seen that yet, go click up on this card up at the top of the screen. 
Aesthetically, I love it. I think it looks great. It's kind of a club style look that I think is really neat. I don't have any complaints about the quality of the item as well as how it looks on this bike. I think it looks great. But we're gonna see how it does when we start picking up some speed here a little bit. All right, so we're hitting about 60 miles an hour now. And I, I am still getting quite a bit of wind on my helmet. And I can say about the forehead is where I'm really starting to really feel the significance from, let's say, right here. Like, right here, I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything. Boom. About right here. And if you didn't see where I was pointing, it was just about where my brow is. But, you know, honestly, for summer riding, I'm going to welcome that because summers around here when you're riding are unbearably hot. Humidity gets high. You want that airflow. And I don't mind a little bit of wind in my hair, you know, or wind in my helmet, I should say. And the two vents at the top of my showy helmet are going to allow that air that's coming right off of this fairing to go right into those vents. And it's going to feel nice on those hot summer days. But as you can see, it's a totally different look than the stock fairing. I'll do a side-by-side -side right here. That way you can see this live-in shot of what I'm looking at next to the stock fairing. Quite a bit different, if you ask me. I mean, this looks like a well. It's a lot. It's a lot larger. Sorry, I got a damn. No, I figured all the bugs would be dead. I just got nailed right in the eye with one. Luckily, I'm wearing my full face. But overall, going this speed, like right now, I'm going about 60. Do I feel a significant difference? I would say, yeah, I, I, I do. I mean, I, I don't feel anything on my chest. Which, with the stock fairing, I felt the wind probably from my chest up and again this is gonna really depend on how tall you are now as far as how it's doing in the wind it's not really shaking or wobbling too much and of course this is very well made so I would say overall if you're looking for a fairing that's gonna take all the wind off of your chest and your head you might want to go with a different option I know Memphis Shades makes the Road Warrior which I also looked into. That would be more for if you're if you're going to go on really long distance rides because you know how the wind can cause fatigue. Because after a full day of riding, of, of taking the wind in the chest and in the head, you're beat up. It's like you've been to the gym. You know, but going a little faster even yet. Yeah, I I'm I'm still getting a lot of airflow to mainly the top half of my head. And you know, if I want, these clamps are really easy to take back off if I want, ever want to put the stock fairing back on. And what's even cooler, as I've said in my install video, if you want to buy a different type of windshield from Infa Shades, as long as you have the clamps that fit your specific bike, all the windshields that they make for your bike model, you can just put right on to these clamps. And it's just like plug and play. You don't have to buy a new set of clamps, a new set of hardware. You can just reuse this hardware. But anyway, guys, those are my first impressions of the fairing. I'm very happy with it still, even though I'm getting some wind on my face. But, you know, some people still want that. Some people just buy fairings for looks and looks only. Some buy them to completely take away the wind. I mean, it's all about what you want. I mean, if you want to mix a little bit of getting rid of the wind with a little bit of style, I would say go for this. This, thing, this thing's incredible. But of course, if you want to get rid of the wind entirely, you're going to want to go with a different option. I would just maybe call Memphis Shades, talk to one of their reps, see what they have, and they could probably help you out to find the right windshield for you. Anyway, guys, there's a couple more things I want to talk to you about today, about with the channel. I'm really glad that uh, you're seeing, I'm seeing these warmer days pop up here and there. That means that spring's coming around the corner, which means there's going to be a lot more motor vlogs and a lot less garage videos. <laughs> But speaking of garage videos, I do have I do have some more wrenching videos I'm going to be doing. I got three more parts at home that I need to put on the Sport Glide. And I'll save that for, for when those videos are released. But mostly aesthetics pieces. I'm really excited for them because a couple of them I've been wanting ever since I bought this bike. Well, I'll go ahead and talk to you about something else I got too. Memphis Shades went ahead and sent me out a pair of the, uh, the wind guards that go over your hand controls. Because I know when I start riding in spring again, 
it's going to be cool, right? It's going to be cool mornings, and my hands are going to be the first thing that gets cold. So those hand guards are going to go right over in front of the hand controls. They're going to help block that wind to keep my hands warmer longer. So I'm really excited for those. And big props to Memphis Shades for everything you guys have done for me. I, I appreciate it so much. Sending me the fairing was awesome. And also uh, sending me the hand guards. That's amazing. Great company to work with, guys. Highly recommend them. That's a cool mural. All right, a couple other things. Uh, you may never notice me riding through this town before. This is Hillsboro. And a lot of you that may have been watching the channel the last month or so, you know that I am raising money through t-shirt sales for a autism support group in this town. Now the sale ends on the 28th of February, which is a, a couple of days from right now. It may actually be passed by the time this video gets out. But if it doesn't, you know, you still got some time left. If it does, I want to thank all of you that have bought t-shirts for me. It means a ton to me. I know it's going to mean a ton to the autism support connection. And uh, just, yeah, big thumbs up, guys. It's amazing what you've done. You know, I think there might be a viaduct down here, too. It can get a little rev bomb in. All right, another order of business. I don't know if you guys have been watching some of the live streams I've been doing here and there the last month or so. But uh, me and fellow moto vlogger Great Egret are talking about, well, we've been talking about. It's already, the plans have already been put into motion. We've already got some exciting stuff planned for it. But we're doing, we're going to try to do a Midwest moto meetup. And this event, you've kind of seen them on other channels. Uh, the guys out in Florida did it. Some guys down in Texas did it. I'm sure they do it in California all the time because they got the weather for it. But I thought it'd be cool where Midwest motovloggers and just riders alike could come, hang out, ride together, talk about motorcycles. We'll do a little camping because our plans are to get a campsite for a night or two. And just have all the all the people that want to come. Like I said, whether you motovlog or not, just come uh, if, if you love motorcycling. That's what this is all about. And there are there is a location or two in mind that we're thinking about using. I, I don't want to reveal that yet because we don't have anything locked down. But a couple cool notes. I got a lot of interest in this event already. Me and Joe combined do. And one thing that's really cool is TAP Performance who sold me the muffler that I have on my bike, they're actually going to get involved and be a sponsor. Now, they said they'd either contribute money to the event or they do like a raffle prize where they give away a free exhaust or something like that. So I thought that was amazing that they're involved with that. Great company there to work with too, guys. I'll, uh, I'll put a link in the description below to their website if you want to check out their products. Oh, and here's the viaduct I was talking about. So maybe the, uh, the microphone will pick this up. Hopefully it does. Let's hear that rip bomb. <laughs> oh, I love it. This sounds so much better than stock. Anyway, guys, I'm about to the DMV, so I will check with you in just a few. All right, that wasn't too bad. Usually when you come to the DMV, it's like, you're waiting forever, and it's miserable. But I got right in, no problem. <laughs> oh, man, I love the tab. Oh, Red Bob Part 2. Let's do this. <laughs> anyway you guys we were talking about the midwest moto meetup i just want to know any of you guys from the midwest or i mean anybody anywhere could come to this thing would you guys be interested in coming to this event please let me know in the comments below i think it'd be a really good time it'd be great to meet new moto vloggers from the midwest because i don't really know too many I mean, there's some, but it'd be, it'd be great to discover some new ones that are actually kind of close by that I could connect with, and we can all connect with each other. I think it would be a great time, and if it's where I'm thinking, I'm hoping where it might be, it'd be one heck of a ride. 
But I mean, if you love motorcycles, camping, and talking about both, and just having a plain old good time, that's what this event is going to be about. So I don't know about where you guys live, but the flu has hit this area like it's a new plague. Like my whole family just got done being sick, and then my youngest got sick again, and he's got the flu really, really bad. I'm talking like throwing up, can't keep food down, fever, he's got chills. And I took him to the doctor, and of course they just prescribed Tamiflu for him. And we can't even get that down him because I guess it tastes like shit. And then my wife goes to the doctor this morning and she's sick. I'm like, great. I said, I'm probably next in line. And of course, my kids go to daycare and that's probably where this came from. Daycares are like germ havens. Not to say that they're not clean. They are, but I mean, sometimes you just can't prevent some viruses from spreading. Anyway, you guys, I got about a half hour ride home and a trip to the grocery store. I want to thank you all for watching the video today. I hope this has been helpful for those of you that have been concerned and wondering about the Memphis Shades bullet fairing and the tab exhaust, how it sounds when you're on riding on the motorcycle. Thank you all again that have bought shirts for my Autism Support Connection charity fundraiser. It means the world to me. It means the world to my family. It's going to mean a whole lot to that organization. I'm going to enjoy this ride home. You guys take it sleazy. I'll see you in the next video.